everybody, and I want to welcome everyone to this episode of The Booze Geek. My name is Chuck, I am your host, and before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, and if you like the episode, especially with me in the pool, hey, hit that like button too. Give us a big thumbs up, and I'm going to thank you all in advance. But once again, I'm doing another in the pool, in the pool, not poolside, in the pool episode because it's pushing 95, 96 degrees out, it's really hot, and this is very refreshing. So. I'm rolling with it, baby. Here we go. But what are we tasting and reviewing on this episode? What's on tap? Well, we are going to be tasting and reviewing a beer from Alpine Beer Company, and they are located in San Diego, California. So the beer we're tasting, this is their Pitcher Perfect. Uh, kind of works for summer, right? Pitcher Perfect. Even on the, uh, the back, it says, take a pitcher. It'll last longer. Uh, sometimes a pitcher lasts longer, but I don't know if a pitcher will last longer. That didn't come out right, but it works anyways. But anyways, this beer, so this is a pale ale. This beer clocks in at 6% ABV, and it's got an IBU of 50, and it's made with three different types of hops, and those hops are Mosaic, El Dorado, and Nugget. So without further ado, it's hot, I'm baking in the sun. Well, the sun's behind the cloud right now, but either way, I'm cracking it open. Here we go, boom, boom, one, two. Whoa! Holy bejesus. Well, well, I guess uh, it's a good thing I'm in the pool on that one. Uh, that one went all over the place. It's a good thing I'm outside. Uh, there's still enough in here to review, sure. But, uh, well, it is what it is. I'm rolling with the punches for this. So let's get uh, what's left of a little pour here. And uh, here we go. I honestly, I did not plan that. I did not expect that to happen. But Sometimes on this show, you just never know what's gonna go. We just roll with the punches. But back to the beer. Uh, let's see, let's give this a swirl. Let's look at that color here in the light. We got a, uh, it's, it's kind of a murky, murky sunshine orangish slash yellow. Um, little carbonation, we got just about a one finger veil of pure white carbonation on top. But uh, yeah, well, I said, we got enough left to review, so that's what matters, right? Let's give this a swirl and give it a nose. And once again, I did not plan that. I did not shake the can up, but here we go. Let's give it a nose. Well, well, just for starters, the aromas are coming out a little bit thin. I mean, we're getting some hay, we're getting some grassy overtones. Some doughy notes. Yeah, but just a little thin, a little thin on the nose. But let's give this a swirl and uh, let's give this a sippity sip. Here we go. Prost. That's not what I was expecting at all. Hmm. Well, first and foremost, it's a full body beer, and I really wasn't expecting that. I mean, uh, just for the name alone, the Pitcher Perfect, I'm kind of thinking hot, summer, sunny weather. I'm thinking of a, a light drinking ale, or light drinking pale ale. Uh, but this one really has a heavier body than I thought. I said, it's full body, no doubt about that. So um, that one's throwing me for a loop there. But let me give this one more sip and we'll get going on those flavors. Well. I said, we got, it, it, it's rounded out by those doughy notes. There are some grassy tones coming on. It's, it's almost mimicking the nose here. Some hay. I mean, there's some slight, slight citrus coming through, some slight orange zest. And there is like a slight also honey sweetness coming through as well. Um, yeah, I don't know about this beer. What would I rate this? I'm not 100% sold on this one. Um, I just, I said, I was, I was expecting a lighter bodied beer, a crisper drinking beer, because, you know, especially for the labeling on the can, uh, the name of the, it just seems like an easy summer drinking beer. And for me, it's really not. Um, in the summer, I, I just, I could maybe put down one of these and that's about it. But I'm only gonna give this let me take one more sip here. 
Yeah, I don't know. I'm only gonna give this one, I'm gonna give this a 4.5 on the pint meter I'm just, I'm, I'm not, yeah, I'm not thrilled about this beer. I said, my, my mind is thinking something else, but I think there's some, there's some issues with it. Uh, I just, I, there's, the, the, the aromas are really thin. There's not much flavor going on on the palate. It's just, it's, it's, you know, it's just, it needs something. It needs more oomph. Um, it's just there's not that much going on. I wish there was more citrus, at least th th that citrus, I wish it was coming forward a little bit more. That orange would be nice, um, you know, to kind of balance out what little honey sweetness it does have. But I'm gonna stick with that. Um, and I also am noticing, I do have a kind of a lingering aftertaste with this beer that I'm not digging as well. Um, so maybe, you know, maybe that's part of it too, but it's still, it's still stuck in the back of my throat. But on anyways, I'm gonna stop this one there. And uh, if you can find it, go out, pick up a six pack, give it to your own opinions. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. But on that token, I wanna thank you for tuning into this episode. And as always, you can follow me at the websites, which are www.pubshaveapintin.com or at the blog, which is www.pubshaveapintin.blogspot.com. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll be back in the pool again if the weather keeps up like this. We shall see. But as always, raise a pint. We'll see you on the next episode. Raise a pint. Cheers. Prost. And enjoy.